Discovered on July 13, 2008, the Sapinua field is part of the exploration block BMS-9, originally called Guara. The field is located in the Santos Basin pre-salt cluster, about 310 kilometers from the coast of Sao Paulo State and 55 kilometers southeast of the Lula field, at a water depth of 2,140 meters. The area is being developed in partnership with Petrobras as the operator of the field with a 45% share, BG Brazil has 30%, and the remaining 25% is owned by Hepsol Sinopec Brazil, with estimated recoverable volumes of 2.1 billion barrels of oil equivalent. The Sapinua field is one of the largest in the country and contains light crudes with approximately 30 degrees API. The Sapinua pilot project consists of the installation of the FPSO Cidade de Sao Paulo, the construction of wells, and the installation of riser systems and oil and gas export lines. The project comprises the construction of eight production wells and five injection wells, including one gas with CO2 injector, one water alternating gas injector, and three water injectors. The subsea interconnection of the first production well and the first injection well were done initially by using flexible risers coupled directly to the FPSO. The remaining wells are interconnected with a new type of system which, given the conditions of the project and the water depth, is the first of its kind in the world. The system uses two large support structures for the risers, called BSR, buoy supporting risers, which are submerged at a depth of about 250 meters. These structures attenuate dynamic forces on the risers caused by the movement of the platform due to ocean currents and wind, which reduces material fatigue and extends the service life of the risers. The connection between the risers and the platform is achieved by flexible catenary lines, or jumpers, which better absorb the movements of the FPSO relative to the BSRs. Each BSR has dimensions of approximately 52 meters in length and 40 meters in width, with a height of 10 meters. Once installed, these flotation modules provide buoyancy of 2,800 tons, which is needed to guarantee adequate stability for the risers. A total of eight tethers, anchored to the seabed with suction piles, keep the system stable and secure. Safety measures also include a computerized ballast control program, which ensures the BSR has approximately the same traction for each of the eight tethers, which maintains a horizontal position and reduces drag caused by ocean currents. The buoyancy modules support up to 23 risers installed, including rigid lines, flexible lines, and umbilicals. Two extra umbilicals will be installed to monitor and ensure system integrity. The development of this technology was performed by the Petrobras Research Center, Sainpice, which assists the company in overcoming the challenges of the pre-salt, which had no existing technical solutions anywhere in the world. The FPSO Cidade de Sao Paulo has processing capacity of 120,000 barrels per day of oil, as well as the capacity to treat 5 million cubic meters of natural gas per day, which is exported to onshore plants or reinjected in the reservoir. The unit is equipped with a CO2 separation module to ensure the proper destination of the gas and CO2 and thereby avoid atmospheric emissions. The oil produced is offloaded onto dynamically positioned tankers. The destination of these vessels depends on the strategy of each participant in the BMS-09 consortium, each of whom is responsible for their own solutions. Any produced gas which is not consumed is exported by means of a flexible subsea line 7.2 kilometers long, which connects to a 54 kilometer gas pipeline with 18 inches of nominal diameter, called Sapinua Lula. This pipeline is interconnected by a subsea manifold to the Lula Mechilhau pipeline, which transports the gas to the Petrobras treatment unit in Caraguatatuba, where it is processed. With a range of new technologies, the Sapinua field has generated great interest by the offshore oil and gas industry, demonstrating again the ability of Petrobras and its partners, BG Brazil and Hepsol Sinopec Brazil, to apply innovations in order to leverage their business.